So, uh, pretty nice weather out there, eh? Stop! Thief! Oh, shit. How'd you see me? Not gonna get this from me. Ain't gonna win this, bitch. Hello, everyone. I am Jake, and this is Oblivion, and that's a beggar. So, let's skip right to the chase here. We are going to Vilverin, that alien ruin we discovered just outside of the exit of the tutorial area, and we are going to kill some bandits. Now, I don't really think this will be a very short little expedition, because there has... There is multiple levels of Vilverin. So I'm going to just fast forward it and put some silly music in the background. Because I want to show this, but I don't at the same time. Because it's kind of significant and kind of not. I'm rambling again. Charge! Attack! Zam. How does it feel to be dead, you inconspicuous idiot? That didn't make sense, but you're dead. That's all that matters. I win, you lose. Arbiter can never die. Much. Isn't this hat... A bomb. Look at it. Take a good look and pick your jaw off the floor. It is sexy. Okay. I'm not going to speed through the entire thing just because I don't know any songs that will take that long. So I'm just probably going to speed through that little part and then once I give up the song will stop and you will hear m me talking which is what you're probably hearing right now well, I'm basically talking about what I'm planning and you're going to be hearing it but when it's already planned that is a weird cycle these are Welkin stones they recharge your mana or magicka I'm going to take them all because they sell nicely. This gold here. Make sure you do not pick up the apple. If you pick up the apple, you'll have to drop it, and that takes an extra few seconds. Ooh, lock picking. 20 gold. Okay, we're doing pretty good for the uh, start. 340 gold. There's a dagger under this pillow. You can't take it. Only if you try really hard. I once spent like 15 minutes just trying to pick up that dagger there. It's not worth it. I half expected the name to be called, like, How the Fuck Did You Do That? Just because it's, like, so damn hard to pick up. It's possible, but it's just called Iron Dagger. There's some notes over there, too. This one is... Ah, oh, okay. I didn't see you there. Oh, archery fight. I'm a wood elf. You cannot hide from me, fool. You silly ass Dunmer. 
Leave the archery to me. And just lie there dead. Take a timeout. Iron bow. Better than my rusty iron bow. I should hope so. Okay, they're the same. Whatevs, whatevs. Drop this one. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Yes, just your eyes playing tricks on you. Just stay there and get shot in the face. Yeah. Take it. There is no stopping the Arby. The Arbitor rules all. Why do they even bother? You get shot in the face. Fall over the edge. Why am I talking like a douche? I'm gonna stop now. Okay, how do I do this? Jump. Oh, but the. I don't know what happened just there. Okay. It is time. Get on the stool. Don't move. This will only hurt a little. Pow! You are dead. Sorry, I'm really hyper right now. Sorry if the commentary seems a bit odd. This is what happens when I have a Starbucks iced coffee. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. I think that's all on this level. So that's all I really wanted to do. As you can see, I got no fur pants out of it. But I got a sexy hat, and ooh, are those fur pants? They are fur pants! I stand corrected. Okay. No comment. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. So we're back in the Imperial City. I sold the loot. And we are going to start the main quest line. And we will also be doing their side quests in this, if you don't know. We're going to be doing Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild. Maybe just one of the two. But we are going to be also doing the main quest line because that's the main quest line and that's what Oblivion is all about. So let's head over to Wayne and Priory and give the amulet to Joffrey. I would prefer Dollarama, but that bastard did not tell me where Dollarama is. Okay. We're here. Pretty nice place. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Dollarama. Right. On to that. Where is he? Someone's gonna talk to me here. They're gonna ambush me when I least expect it. Hmm. They're not here. Cool. Cool. Sup, Joff? I'm Brother Joffrey. I brought you the... Hey, the amulet... Uh, Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? I was there when he died. <laughs> You'd better explain yourself. Now. Sorry if that sounded like Michael Jackson. That was supposed to be my serial killer voice. I hope I did a good impression. He gave me the You amulet of brought kings. me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. There should be an option to run away and sell it to Dollarama, but whatever. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he Mayrons referred Dagon. to is none other than Mehrunes Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Hmm. 
How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I thought you said you didn't know. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. Uh-oh. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Thanks. Assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Thank you. Unlock the chest, bitch. Thank you. Now we get a steel bow. Iron stuff that you will not need for a stealth character. Potion of healing. Everything else is no. I will not pick anything else up. Except for that, because it sells nicely. And we're off. I'm not sure how we're doing for time here, to be honest. I'm going to play for a few minutes. If we go a bit over time. I don't like making 20 minute videos, just because it seems a bit long to me. But I could be wrong. Maybe people don't mind watching 20 minute videos of me talk. My voice is pretty attractive, I know. So, before I ramble on and accidentally wander into a forest and get attacked by a wolf and not die and shoot the wolf in the face, I will go over to Kavach. Hmm, I wonder why you can't enter the city. I sure hope gates didn't open and destroy the city. But what are the odds? Why is there a camp here? Why are you- Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! Aw, oh, shit. I spoke too soon. God's blood! You don't know, do you? I do. Deidre overran Kvach last night! Figures. There were glowing portals outside the walls! Gates to oblivion itself! Called it. There was a huge creature! Something out of a nightmare! Came right over the walls! Blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. I mean, like, how bad could it be? Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. How did you escape? Why do I need to ask this? Just run along now. It was Savly and Matthews. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. Dude, you don't understand. I am a wood elf called The Arbiter Ten. Do you know who I am? Well, I just told you, but did you know who I was before? I am the 
baddest of all badasses. I can kick some dangerous ass any day. I'm not even gonna bother talking to those losers. Hey, how's it going? Flying, flying high in the sky. Cliff race of fly so high, flying. Okay. I'm going to cut it off here. Just because I don't know how long this has been. And if I cut it off here, I can just edit out me saying all of my outro stuff. And yeah, I don't need to explain this to you. I ramble way too much. <laughs> I am sorry. So I'm going to cut it off here. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of this video. I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.